Hey guys, so we are doing Kowali's three month update. Yay! You're three months old almost. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Do you want to do the video with mom today? You want to do the video with mom today? Look at him, guys. I feel like he's gotten like a little tiny bit bigger, but mm, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen my chinchilla before, his name is Koali and it's his three months update, which is just so crazy, it makes mommy so sad, but it's okay, huh, it's okay, we'll get through this, don't be moving out on me, <gasps> you're here to mail person, you're here to mail person, okay, it's okay, no, Okay, let's do your favorites. Do you want to do that? So, you guys, um, behavior for him has been a little bit different because, sorry, he's looking outside. Um, this month I was super cleaning his bath, or his bathroom, his cage, and I took everything out, uh, took it apart, and dumped it out um, so I could wash it down and things. And I had this little toy in there for him that I, I made him. And I guess I just left it on the floor and didn't realize. So I ended up, uh, what's the word? I ended up just happening to leave it on the floor and Gizmo had come upstairs, which is my dog. And he took the toy and I guess ripped it apart. He was not happy about it. He was pouting the whole week and he would take his toys and just kind of throw them, like he would be like, here, here, and he would just kind of throw it off the shelf, like he had an attitude about it, and he wasn't happy for the longest time, but he's, but he's good now, he's not so upset about it, um, I've been looking for a new toy for him, but I haven't found something that I'm in love with yet, so haven't bought him anything, uh, like as a toy, toy-wise yet, um, but let's see, uh, his favorite thing to play with recently is this little tunnel, do you want to show them your tunnel? Do you want to show them? Is his tunnel? Um, he really likes playing in this, and he chews on it. Um, that's what it's for. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I think it's by Super Pet. And um, I will list everything down below for you guys. Um, but this tube was only like three to five dollars. But he really likes it. It does come with some yellow like stuff in it, which got ruined with poop, so I threw it away. Um, but they kind of like to sleep in that type of stuff. Um, but you can just buy bags of that. I did see. But anyways, so he's been really liking to play with that. He'll like um, spin in it and uh, just chew on it, which is good because they need to teeth. Um, and it'll just roll around. We have it in the bottom. I don't know, for whatever reason, possessed me to put it on the very top shelf. Because I thought he was going to sleep in it. That's probably why. And he ended up rolling it down to the third shelf. And I was like, oh no, he's never going to play in it again. So we keep it in the bottom and he plays in it. He's just good to go. He's fine. Um, another favorite of his, which I actually gave him probably a couple weeks ago. Probably three weeks ago. No, it probably been a couple, right? Which you're probably thinking, what is this thing? This is a little snack. Do you remember this? Do you remember this? What is this? It's a little like snack granola bar, I believe is what it was. It, it has like, um, I think this one was apple raisin bar. Uh, and they were on clearance at our Jack's Pets for like $1.50. So um, I bought him this one and to see if he liked it. And I went back and bought some more. So he loved it. He went through it within about a week or so. Um, it does have a little thing to attach it to the cage, but he knocked it off and was going to town. Um, but he really liked it. Um, he didn't chew on it, like, all day, but, you know, it was like a snack now and then. It had little bits of dried apples on top and, um, raisins. So I just thought it was, like, a good treat to him every once in a while. Not every month should he have one, or not every day he should have this, but... Um, do you know what I mean? So he really liked those, so I definitely recommend those. I think they are by Sensations as well. His food, I wanted to mention to you guys that it has changed a little bit. Um, I talked about how it had these berry type of things in there, and those are no longer in there, um, which he still eats it, but I think there's like some, 
There's some green flat things in here now, flat circle things, and oats, and red pieces, and some other kind of pieces. So it's a little bit different from before, but he seems to really like this. The other food he didn't really eat as much, that was from the pet store. I mean, he ate it, but it was kind of like, ew. So, I mean, he just won't eat that one now. Um, which is pellets is what it was, because that's what we got from the pet from Petlion when we were like, oh, we're out, so can you give us some somehow? So they gave us some, and uh, yeah, he liked it, but it wasn't like his favorite. He likes to just come and grab the little bits that are a little bit different from pellets and just chew on them, especially the little hay that's in here, right? And every time it's feeding time, he hears the bag and he's like all over it, like jumping around in his cage. You can't come over here. You can't go over there. Okay, you want to show him your favorite toy? Okay, come this way. <gasps> Do you see yourself? Okay, you want to show him your favorite toy? Who is this? I think we might have showed this before. Where are you going? Okay, I think we might have showed this before, but this is a stitch um, Tsum Tsum or something. Yeah, like a Tsum Tsum toy and these are like four bucks and he doesn't really chew on him or anything i mean he'll have he'll grab um stitch by the ear but i just think it's so cute because i think they look alike um and there are little beans in here but like i said he does not chew on this he'll just grab him by the ear and like throw him off his shelf and throw him around his room that's pretty much all he does huh is this little stitch oh does stitch not want to sit on your head And also, we got him a nature ball, which I'm not sure if I talked about, but he loved it. This is all we have left of the nature ball. Do you remember this? you remember your nature ball? So basically what a nature ball is, is it's just kind of like this. It looks like twine, but I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's something natural, some type of natural fiber that they can chew on and eat, basically. And he ate the whole thing within a couple of days, which was like wild. But he tore it apart at first. And then he just continued eating it. But he still, this is like the little bell that's inside of it. He still likes to play with this. He'll kind of just hit it with his hand or kind of throw it off the shelf. So that's something he likes to do. And Zach likes to kind of play, I don't know, soccer, I guess. I don't know what it is. But he likes it. Um, I know it is plastic and I should probably take it out. But it doesn't really seem to be like he's chewing on it or anything. So I'm going to keep it in there. And again, I know we've mentioned these before, but these are the Fiesta Yogurt Dip Treats, which I really recommend um, if he's done something really good or, or taught him something else. I think this is a really great thing for him to have. Um, I'm really interested in buying the like dandelion drops and things like that too, but I will not purchase those until these are almost gone because we don't get these very often. Um, I'll probably get him some from Santa. We'll ask Santa. Can we ask Santa if you can have some? I think that would be good. Okay, and then just a really good purchase that I think is great for anybody that has small animals is like a dustpan thing like this. And this one I just picked up from the Dollar Tree because I was like, whatever, this is fine. Um, and his color is green. Um, huh, you like green. So I just picked this one up and it's just great to like do a little small cleaning every day so that's why I got this and it's been really helpful I don't really use the dustpan as much as just the brush but um, I'll use the dustpan if I need to clean out the bottom if there's a lot of poop down there but yeah um, I know his three month update was pretty short you guys but he's not really done much and um, yeah but I wanted to let you guys know that I am interested in getting pinky mice and you might be thinking if you know about pinky mice you might be thinking Oh my gosh, you're going to feed your pinky mice to a chinchilla? No, no, no. Um, okay, so we went to, this is kind of like story time. So we went to the pet store, or Jack's Pets. And um, I had seen them before once, but I didn't like see them. I just saw the picture of like, this is how much they are type of thing. Like the label. And I was like, oh, those are cute. I wish I could see one. And they didn't have any in person there. Like, they were out. And I... I went back a little bit later and my boyfriend, with my boyfriend, and I had got him some more treats. And, uh, 
they had them there and I was looking at them and I was like oh my god these are so cute and they're only like two bucks I was like oh my god this is so great and I was just like oh my god oh my god they are so cute little babies like I really want them and so I was like I'm gonna go home and like research it so I, I go home and I like type it in I just type in pinky mice and this place is like oh we sell them online and I'm like well that's kind of odd it must be like a pinky mice farm um you know like a chinchilla farm that they have sometimes and then I clicked on the link and it was like uh frozen mice like after I clicked on it was like frozen mice and I was like oh that must be just the name or something like you know just brushing it off like oh it can't be and um so I'm going through and it's like we sell them by the hundreds and I'm like what does that mean and so my boyfriend's in the bathroom and I'm like researching this and I uh went back and then I scrolled down a little bit and you know how your images will come up if you want to look at images I was just on the regular Google search and there was like this snake um, eating one and I was like bawling my boyfriend comes out of the bathroom and I just like grab him and hug him and I'm just like not uh, quality but I'm like a uh, hugging uh, Zach and I'm just like oh my god and I'm so sad and I'm just bawling and I'm like we have to save them and he's like hugging me he's like it's okay it's okay it's just that's what happens and I'm like that's not fair does PETA know <laughs> and I'm just like uh crying like I was so upset I was just so like furious about it and I was like this is not right and I'm like I really want to get some and like take care of them so I'm like researching them as pets now and uh, they're really difficult to take care of. You have to have them in like a heat lamp sometimes, like to keep them warm since they are just babies. You have to feed them bottles, um, or not bottles, but milk, like kitten formula milk. They just take such a long time, but I just think they're so cute and they definitely don't deserve to, excuse me, they definitely don't deserve to be fed to a snake. So that really upset me, but you know, what can you do? Hmm. But the moral of this story is I'm asking you guys if you guys think I should get some pinky mice to take care of and just kind of start doing that because I love babies and they're little they're literally just like babies you have to feed them every two hours it's a lot of hard work I do realize that so if you guys have any have if you guys have any sources that I should read um, for more research about these animals please let me know because I'm definitely interested because I freaking love saving animals it's like just I love it. I never knew that that was like legit and I just thought they like sold them as pets and I was like yes I want them. They're so cute. And when I saw them at the store I almost cried because they were just so cute. And I'm so glad I didn't buy any at the time because those people would have been like they would have said that to me and then I probably would have started bawling in the store which I already did before we got Quali because my boyfriend was like no we're not getting him today and I was like oh my god you know. But you're okay sweetie. I know you want to go. I know you want to go into your room. I'm going to do a haul without you okay. Yeah without you. Is that okay? Um, but yeah, guys, I will be right back. I'm going to put him down and get the things that I bought from Jack's Aquarium. So hold on. And I'll be right back. I will be right back. By the way, Jack's pets are not located everywhere. They are only in some states. I don't really know. You can go onto the website and find out if there's one near you or in your state. Um, but you can't buy online or anything like that either. Also, I'm interested in getting fish. I know that's so weird, but I'm really interested in getting fish. At Jack's Aquariums, they had um, a puffer fish, and I really wanted it. And then my, my boyfriend was like, you know, they're poisonous. And I was like, oh, they are? Like, that's so crazy. I didn't know that. Um, but there was like a lionfish or something like that in the same tank and I was like, hmm, I kind of want one, but I don't know yet. Okay, so these are what they are. These are by Sun Seed Sunbing Special. Um, so I didn't, oh, this is the one that I got him. I don't know. I think this is it. Well, I think this is the one that I got him. I ended up picking it up, picking up the rest. I don't know. No, this isn't the one I got him. I think the one that I originally got him was out of stock, so that's why I picked these two up. 
Oh yeah, this is the one I didn't really want to get them, but I did get it. So anyways, um, I picked these up because they had a picture of a chinchilla on it, and it said it was for chinchillas, but they had a bunch of others, but they were not for chinchillas, so I was like not going to get them. Um, but anyways, these are my sun seed something special. These are the granola pea, or granola bars, basically, and um, this one is peas and carrot, so it just has this topping, and then it's that big and there's just good grains and um, new, like just good stuff in here for him to eat and snack on um, he doesn't like eat it like it's his food he just eats it like it's a snack um, you can offer this continuously or use it as a special reward um, but I really like these because it's It just has such great stuff in here. There's oats, oat groats, dehydrated carrots, dehydrated peas, corn, sunflower seed, cracked corn, flaked corn, shelled peanuts, dehydrated alfalfa meal. Um, so there's just a lot of good things in these that I like. So I got them the peas and carrots, and I also picked up the golden honey bar, which I don't know why, but I'm thinking this is the one that I got him, and it totally could have been. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. It was apple raisin. So yeah, this is the one that I got him. Again, there's sunflower seeds and all sorts of different things in here, but these were only $1.50 on sale. Um, regularly, I think $3, so it's not that um, expensive anyway, but I definitely recommend those because he really loved them. Um, but anyways, guys, that's it for Quali's three-month update. I hope you guys enjoyed story time and our little haul, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!